Now, an advert for one of the world's leading fashion brands has been banned after using a model who regulators say appeared unhealthily underweight. The Advertising Standards Authority described this image as irresponsible. It was used in an Yves Saint Laurent campaign and appeared in Elle UK magazine. Both companies have refused to comment, but charities for people with eating disorders welcome the decision. Joining me now to talk about this is model Emma Cargill and Grace Barrett, who's from the campaign group Self Esteem Team. What do you think about it, Grace? I think there's a few things that are concerning about the image. Um, I think that obviously there's the model is very thin, um, but the way that she's been positioned um, is very odd to me and alarming and um, she looks quite vulnerable and she looks really young and I think that those three things combined make it quite a distressing image. That's the thing isn't it Emma she does appear incredibly thin mm. but that's not really the problem here is it because she could be naturally thin. Yeah I mean we have to accept that some people are different shapes and sizes but I think the main issue really is with the responsibility as, a, as an ad, adverts are out there for a lot of people to see and if yeah. they have to be responsible you know you're getting a lot of young people that are going to view this regardless whether it's in a magazine or whether it's on social media you know these kind of images spread very very quickly so we have to be responsible what goes out now you're a model yourself you're described as a plus size model in some courses which seems faintly ridiculous because you're a normal sized person yeah uh, so how does it make you feel that by and large these older, established French fashion brands tend to use people on the skinnier end of the spectrum? Um, I think it is very kind of like an old idea. Um, it has been banned um, quite recently. Um, so they can't have... Very on the catwalk. On the catwalk, yeah. yeah that they can't have super skinny models. But, you know, the, the kind of industry that I work in is commercial. So it's... it's I work as a, a normal commercial model um, doing a, a wide range of, um, of advertising campaigns. Um, so I don't tend to come in contact with um, super skinny models regularly because they don't work in commercial work as much as we don't work in, um, in high fashion. Mm. Um, but I do just think that we have such a responsibility to each other to look after each other if someone is suffering massively from a mental disorder, which is obviously what eating disorders come hand in hand with. I mean, Ollie Newell on Facebook uh, tells us, I think it would depend on whether this model, she, as he refers to her, eats normally and is naturally that thin or starving herself, the point we just made. But Cynthia Tappenden says, Grace, it's disgusting. It's telling youngsters it's good to be like that. They, YSL, should be boycotted. What do you think? I think one thing that we talk to teenagers a lot about when we go into schools is voting with your money or voting with your clicks online. So understanding that you do have power, that you have some control. And if you spend money with brands that advertise responsibly, then other brands will have to follow suit the because thing, ultimately it's about making money. The thing is, I imagine most teenagers can't afford to buy Yves Saint Laurent clothes. So who is this advert aimed at, do we think? We're, I mean, we had this discussion earlier. We're not quite sure, really, what the actual advert is, is trying to bring across. We don't know whether it's like a PR stunt yeah. or, or something like that because it doesn't make me look at it and think, I want to buy their products or their, their perfume. No. So we're not quite Would sure. Would it stop you buying if, them if you did like their products, their clothes or their perfume or whatever? Yeah, I think... As, a, as an adult, you have a responsibility to decide whether you agree with somebody's code of practice. Mm. And if you don't, then you have to let your actions reflect that. So yes, I would definitely not buy things if I didn't agree with the way that somebody advertised. And if you just move away from YSL for, for a second, I mean, there are lots of these older established brands. Mm. Do you think, finally, Emma, they have a, a responsibility to portray a more modern image of the world? Yeah, I think, I think it's really important um, as, as a model, I mean, I work for an agency called BMA where all of us are commercial models in normal sizes. Mm. And I think it, a lot of the clients that we work for are very up to date, very modern. And we don't, uh, you know, tend to get a, a lot of clients that want super skinny models. But there are some out there because some people think that it's high fashion and fashionable to be slim. But I think it's really important that we show to younger people, older people, anyone that's suffering mm. that you know, it's okay to just be yourself and be normal and be happy and healthy and eat well is the most important thing. Be yourself. That's the message, Emma. Grace, thank you so much indeed. I'm glad you said that because I'm losing in the hair stakes today, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> nice to see you both. Too. Thank you. <laughs>